In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to disconnect from NordVPN. Whether you're new to using VPNs or just need a quick refresher, I'll walk you through each step to ensure you can smoothly disconnect whenever you need to. First, we start by launching the NordVPN application on your device, whether it's a mobile phone, a tablet, or your PC. This is usually just a matter of locating the NordVPN icon on your home screen or in your list of apps and giving it a tap or click. If you haven't already installed the NordVPN app, you'd want to do that first. But since we're focusing on disconnecting, I assume it's already up and running for those familiar with its basics. Next, you'll want to ensure that you're currently connected to a VPN server. You can check this by looking at your app's interface. If it's showing connected or there's a green indicator light, then you're all set for the next step. This little indicator is your assurance that your browsing is currently secure and anonymized by NordVPN, but we're here to turn it off. Now to disconnect, look towards the top part of the app. Here you'll find a disconnect button or a power icon, which is usually just under your IP address. Go ahead and click it. This action is what severs the secure tunnel to the VPN server, effectively lifting the VPN protection. So bear in mind that your connection will revert back to a standard unencrypted state. It's particularly crucial to make sure you click this button when you need your usual direct internet connection restored for tasks that perhaps require higher speeds or regional restrictions aren't a concern. Once you've clicked disconnect, the app should display not connected. That's your confirmation that the VPN has been successfully turned off. Always double check this status message as you want absolute certainty that you've achieved the right connection state. Knowing when you're connected or not is essential. While you may want security most of the time, there are occasions when disconnection becomes necessary, especially to access services that might be geo-locked or to alleviate potential speed reductions. Now remember, regularly connecting and disconnecting from your VPN is normal based on your privacy needs. Whether you're turning it off to stream content that's restricted by country or simply need more speed for a hefty download, following these steps will ensure you're managing your VPN efficiently. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you learn the ins and outs of disconnecting from NordVPN seamlessly. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials.